Metal Bent Chronicles, where metal lived. Here on this early Saturday morning, coming at you from the Metal Bend Mobile. Sitting up here at the park, you know, pretty beautiful morning so far. Need to work, got a little CD update. So yeah, what we're listening to in the background is some Death Angel. That's right. Of course, this has five C or four CDs with it. So you get the Ultra Violent, Frolic Through the Park. You get some live CD and a collection of rare tracks. Oh, yeah, Fall from Grace from 1990, the live album. Then you get CD with, you know, a bunch of rarities on it. Pretty sure I've showed this in a video in the past. Not a new purchase at all. I've had this for a couple years. We'll get to the new purchases here in a moment. But the other day, I was watching Heavy Metal Urgy. And it got me in the mood to break out the Ultra Violence and listen to it. To me, probably still the best Death Angel album. Don't really think Death Angel has a bad album. For say. But the Ultra Violence is definitely my favorite. So yeah, we're cranking that right now here in this early morning. Okay, we'll get to the new CDs here. Alright. Start off with the two Bandcamp purchases. This is a band somebody actually recommended me to check out like a year ago. I'm talking about Krantis from Mosh Pit Crew, the channel Mosh, Cr Mosh Pit Crew, excuse me. So this is their debut album. The band's called Wings of Steel. I gotta say, man, this is some really, really good melodic heavy metal. If you like early Queensryche, mixed with the bluesy elements of Whitesnake, I definitely think you would enjoy this. I mean, this literally sounds like it came out in the late 80s. And man, the vocalist on here is absolutely incredible. He does a really good Jeff Tate. It's really weird, at times he kind of sounds like a little bit of David Coverdell, maybe a little bit of Rob Halford, maybe a little bit of Dio. But, like, you can hear the melody of someone like Ann Wilson in his voice from heart. It's really interesting vo vocals. Great vocalist, great band. This is their debut album. They have an EP out, too, before this. It came out last year, if I remember correctly. So, yeah, really, really good melodic heavy metal, man. And the lead guitar playing on this is freaking fantastic. Excellent musicianship, too. See you guys the booklet quick. So, yeah, and I've seen these guys advertise their CDs on Facebook, so I'm like, you know what? I got bored one Saturday and decided to listen to it, and I was freaking blown away by this. There's a shot of the band right there. All right. Wings of Steel. Definitely check out Wings of Steel. Yes, definitely check that out, man. Go to Bandcamp and get it. Anyways, up next, we got another debut. Now, the drummer from this band, Wayne Noon, has a YouTube channel called Rat Salad Reviews. Really good podcast channel, too. I definitely recommend subscribing to it. So, yes, yeah, Southern Angels, the debut album by Southern Angels. Very interesting listen. I am going to review it. I was actually going to review it last Friday, but I wasn't quite ready to review it. You know, I wanted to take my time with this album, so I'm going to try to get that review out this week sometime. So, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me there. So, what you get here is a 10-song release, you know, and the one and only Dr. Fuck Ralph Vieira is on the intro track to this album. That's right. Introspection is the track. Really cool spoken words by the one and only Dr. Fuck on here. Yeah, really good stuff. Got it on Bandcamp. They sent me a couple um, stickers here. Good collector items, obviously. So yeah, this definitely has a unique sound. 
Yeah, I've been really enjoying the CD, but I'm going to get to reviewing this this week, like I said. Hopefully by Friday. You know. So I'll show you what the booklet looks like here. Of course, there's the band. Oh yeah, right there's Wayne Noon. Who just joined my Metal Bents Chronicles Facebook page. Which is cool. Got the other members of the band there. Yeah, excellent album, man. I can't wait to review this. I've had a little bit of time with it now, so... That's pretty much that. Anyways, moving on. Got a couple hypocrisy reissues from Nuclear Blast Records. Got the debut here, Penetralia. What a great death metal debut album this is. I've been wanting this for a while, too. You know? Check out the back there. I'm trying to get that situated. Okay. It's got the old Nuclear Blast logo on the back. Which is kind of cool. The Nuclear Blast definitely has cheap CDs or jewel cases. Because they always break in the center for whatever reason so I gotta like hold on to it so there's what the CD looks like of course you got an early photo of the band and this is pretty cool it actually folds out into a poster which is really really Freaking awesome. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, man, this is definitely easily one of the best death metal debut albums. By far. And it's weird, lately I've been getting more back into death metal. I don't know, man, the older you get, the heavier you want your music, you know. So then I got their third album, The Fourth Dimension, which came out in 1992 originally. Pretty cool album. This is where they start kind of going in a modern, or not a modern, a melodic death metal direction. There you go. There's a shot of the band. This is what the back looks like. Again, it's got that old logo. Kind of like how Metal Blade's been doing it as of late with their reissues. They've been putting like their old 80s logo on some of them. So yeah. Again, this folds out into a poster, too. Let me get the thing open. Okay, there we go. Really, really, really awesome stuff, man. So, yeah, that's the fourth dimension. I got a couple others out, too. I want to get their third album. Or, excuse me, their second album, and, um, I think the album Hypocrisy, the self-titled album. There's another one in there, too. I forget what it is now. And, as far as new releases go, the new Metal Church, which I, which I do plan on reviewing. I know we've been talking a lot about Metal Church on the channel as of late. You know, rightfully so, because they deserve to be talked about. So... Right there you go, Congregation of Annihilation on Rat Pack Records. Right there. Yeah, I've pretty much, I'm, you know what, I'm going to review this, but so far I'm definitely enjoying this album. Of course, you got lyrics, you know. And this is the first album of new vocalist, Mark Lopez. Who comes from Ross the Boss. That's right. So yeah, brand new Metal Church. I think it's a really cool release. I'm just double checking. Okay, I guess there is no picture of the band in here. That's kind of weird. Anyways, those are the new purchases for this video. 
Hey man, like, comment, subscribe, and keep it metal and keep on banging those heads.